Where are we going? What's happening? I'm what going to the marker. Oh, cool. So when we talk, you should also read. Ah. Well, okay. You can't give me that because um, every time yes. we have played like Metal Gear Solid, you're like, Lisa, what's happening? And I'm that like, game is hard to understand as is, though. Yeah, well, if you read and listen to all of the wonderful voice acting that David Hayter I'm not literally paid I'm just reading paid other actors You've out of pocket. We've already talked about this in in our going to be put up at some point Metal Gear playthrough. You don't need to repeat that whole issue. He used his own money to get the original <laughs> voice cast, minus a few people. And now he doesn't voice Snake anymore, so it's all a waste. Your feelings for that game? I really like Metal Gear. I should. I really want to go back and like replay some of them because like. When I was playing them, I was still only like 14. Yep. And, uh. You need to play Revengeance. I can do that. I want you to play Revengeance. Yeah. So, um, but it was like, I was at the age where, yeah, I could play an M rated game, but I don't necessarily want other people to see me playing an M rated game. That's about when I got my first rated M yeah. game. Yeah. But mine wasn't as, um,. I was at the point. Mine wasn't as it, visceral. No, no, no. Mine just it was. Well, Metal Gear my isn't. Head. Metal Gear really isn't that bad. It's it's really just the content and the violence. Right, but like the violence in Shin Megami was really t cartoony. Yeah. Um, it was literally the drug references and the language. Yeah. Yeah, and like that's because my mom and the let angel me... enemy. <laughs> oh yeah. You know her. Oh, angel isn't she from like? Shin Megami? Isn't she like a penis? No, no, that's the one she's, persona. She's the BDSM. Oh, okay. She's just in, like, leather straps. Oh, okay. And she's, like, blinded by, like, a choke, basically. She's got chains everywhere. Okay. <sighs> I forget what I was going on. Oh, yeah. Um, so there would be times where I would be playing the game, and then someone would come home. So that I'd leave the game on, but, like, change the TV channel. Mm hmm So I'd miss entire cutscenes. Yeah, that's not a good game to do that with. Nope. Especially in Metal Gear 2, where, like, there's so many new characters, even though, like... Whoa! Look at that! Look at that fucking gamer grammar right going on here! Yes, being said by Yui, of all people. She's a computer program. She, no, yeah, right? but I don't wouldn't expect her to say, like, that oh, she totally terminology. Right. Yeah, something's gonna happen where he can't use, like, his... His original stuff, and that's why I can make my own avatar. I just want to make a pretty girl. I, you know what I have learned from actually starting to watch the Game Grumps again? You have Aaron Hansen syndrome? I am Aaron Hansen. <laughs> you just don't... No, I just think, not a meme. I think he and I have kind of similar personalities. Oh, absolutely. Except you like Ocarina of Time, and he does not like Ocarina of Time. That's okay. <laughs> I don't like Majora's... I don't... That's not true. I like Majora's Mask. I just can't play Majora's Mask. That's okay. Have I talked about that on this show yet? Uh, yes. I think you have once, but go ahead and reiterate. So, Majora's Mask. Yes, it's a fantastic game. I can't play it, though, because when I was a little kid... <laughs> it's Azura! Oh, Actually, don't don't a even few. get me started. <laughs> I'm trying to talk about my... My... <laughs> my... My childhood. Um. Yeah. Uh, back when it first came out, my friend bought it, and mm -hmm. I tried to play it, and I could not understand how the time travel worked, and I had a really h a hard time grasping losing, you know, progress when you went back in time, and so now I have this built-in aversion to it that I can't get past, so I can't play the game, and there's nothing wrong with the game. I literally have a like deep-seated mental block towards it. <laughs> you laugh, but it's like. No, I completely understand, and that's why when we play it, I'm gonna. Uh, well, you know the story, right? Like, what? I if if because the plan is to play it. Yeah. In the Japanese version. Oh yeah, you wanted to do that. Did yeah. you want to do that as part of our? Um, yeah. Oh, agreed on oh, that. real quick, another thing. Yeah. Um, Megan made me aware of this. So, um, what are we doing? I oh. I was telling a story. And now are I'm we gonna, stalling. No, 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 I'm not. Um, no. so she was telling me. She texted me and she's like. You know what you guys should do on your channel? You should um you should do a special Pokemon episode because it's the twentieth anniversary. And, yeah. And I was like, Oh, that's a really great idea, but I don't really have anything to record Pokemon. It's a little late because she told me we should put something up on the day of the anniversary. Yeah. It's like it's a little late now. Yeah. But you know what else is this year? Pokemon? 
No, it's the third thirtieth uh, anniversary of Zelda. That too. So we yes. can wrap oh, it hey, into it's Asana. we can wrap it into our our playing yeah. of the whole series as our thirtieth anniversary celebration. That's cool. We just got to get through awesome. it all now. Oh, awesome. Listen, I love you, hon, but I also love Asuna. Yeah, you know what? They all love you, too. Look at Sino and that girl we were but talking about. I only care about Asuna. I like Asuna. You're okay with me liking Asuna? Absolutely, I like Asuna. I wonder if Aaron has ever had that conversation with Suzy. Like, characters that he really likes? Because I know he does, like, all Sailor Moon. Oh, well, yes, but she likes Sailor Moon, too, so. I think, I think she's more that person who's like, oh, yeah, you like that character? Yeah, she's cool. She's hot. Right, which is literally you with me. Yeah. Like, if we double dated, it'd be it'd be a pretty good time. Also, I just noted that Sinon's breastplate is a cat. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> cool. Good job. Asuna does not have a breastplate in this version. I, your character I've never seen before. Yay! OCs. <laughs> Well, we're, we were talking about this before. The author of the Sword Art series has yes. created this story, correct? Yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. It is written. This is an original story written by the actual author of, of SAL, which is really awesome. Yeah. What, what else has that been done? Oh, hey, I know Klein. I like Klein. Yeah, I do like Klein, too. Klein's one of my favorites. The guy characters in this show are actually pretty solid. Yeah. They're very minor, but they're solid. Yeah, I was going to say, there's more girl characters. Well, they but... are, there are more girl characters, <laughs> and they have much bigger roles. Like, these guys are, like, Sword Art Online 2, Klein is maybe in, like, an episode. <laughs> yeah. Ah. I like his new outfit. Because I've only seen his, like, Bushido samurai. Oh, you don't remember? That's his That's his Alfheim outfit. I never saw his Alfheim outfit. I wonder if you only see that in You Star only Alfheim. see it? You No, you see it at the very end when they're all like, let's all play Alfheim together. Yeah. Literally right, the right, right, last right. episode. But that's what he wears in, in yeah. Star Line 2 because you'll see him in Alfheim. Yeah, because Kirito and Asuna go to like the... No, no, no. Not Asuna. No, no, no. Kirito you... is the only one who goes to Gun Gale online. Everyone oh, else no, no, stays no. in yeah, Alfheim. I know that. But like, at the, at the end of Sword Art 1, they're like... What was I going on about? Oh, they, they they go to the school because they're all they all missed so many years, and it's also like a correctional facility in case you have like not a correctional facility. It's like it's it's a school specifically designed for kids who were trapped in the game to help them reacclimate to real life. That's right, because isn't doesn't it's Asuna more of a psychological also, facility? Didn't Asuna also mention she's like I'm I'm having trouble figuring out what's real and what's not? Yes, yeah, it's it's not played up as much as you'd think, but. They could have played it up more. Well, no, that's where sort of like a sword art online could have gone. Yeah, and would have been really good. Yeah, but instead they just decided to put Kirito into another game. Kirito probably <laughs> like he gets out of his eyes like, "Fuck, I need to pee." Where's the button to pee? <laughs> pee button. Where's my pee button? Fuck. Where's my keyboard? Where's my on. He doesn't have a keyboard. Where's my on-screen keyboard? And he's like poke it, trying to poke the air. And I'm pretty sure they don't like, use that because it uses your brainwave patterns. Yeah, Remember? but you still have a menu. Oh, sort of. When you went, yeah, when you do the hand motion. And you, motion. like, would, yeah. Which was pretty cool. <laughs> the only thing I know... I still wish Asuna had her... card skin. I like that version better. Aincrad? Yes. Which one? Her her original, with, the, with her actual hair color in... Oh, her, oh, 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 oh. Uh, blood. Knights nice. of the Blood Oath or yes, whatever. Knights of the Blood Oath. I don't know if that's right, but. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, the... I do like that outfit. No, I, and, it's and it's. Bitch, it, it, though. It fits the, the Alfheim world better, yeah. but. Yeah. Are we still planning to cosplay from this? Yeah, I don't want to cosplay Kirito, though. Yeah. Every guy cosplays Kirito. Yeah, and, it's, I've, and I've never characters. seen. I will be completely honest. There are good cosplayers, but if you're Kirito, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like <laughs> well, he's just—it's just like one of those. Well, no, because you guys. Can, like I've well, never seen. But, I've never looked at a Kirito cosplayer and been like, "Wow, that is an amazing costume." No, because everyone buys it, and the the bot one looks pretty good. But mm -hmm. like every casual cosplayer buys a Kirito. Because that's coat. all you need. You yeah. just need the fucking coat, and most people just use their hair. Yeah. Yeah, so I, if, if I, if we do end up still cosplaying from Sword Art, which I would like to do, I don't want to do Kirito. Hmm. We could just both be Asuna. 
That's fine. I'll be I'll be Einkard Asuna and you can be uh Alfheim Asuna. Uh <laughs> no, 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 because I was already prepared to make that one because it's asymmetrical and it's a bitch. The Ancrad one. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Oh no, we have oh, to no. cover this up. No, we don't. Oh, I'm, I'm cheating the system. PlayStation's Wait, got nothing on me. Wait, what? Well, no, it, it, it's our system still recording. Yes. You know how PlayStation constantly records? Oh. It's not recording this scene. There are scenes, usually title sequences like this, where PlayStation will so stop that, recording. Okay, so our system, our, is not, our, our recording device is recording. Our caption card, but is the still, PS4 is, is like not. nope. So if I were to upload my gameplay, it would skip this. Yes, because so much copyright. Also, this sounds like Lisa. It probably is. It, no, it's not. It sounds no, like that's the chick. Not Lisa. It sounds like the chick who did the opening for Kill a Kill, the first one at least. Yeah, this isn't. Lisa. Ooh, blue haired anime boy. Because Lisa did do all the openers, but. This really? Is for Sword Art? Yeah. yeah. I like Lisa. Like the openings, not all the endings. No. Oh, no, Jake. I kind of like him. You really are <laughs> obsessed with blue hair. <laughs> it's like me and uh, green hair. Yeah. That's probably why it's I like Asa's character every, more. Every, um, every green hair character, I'm like, oh, I like her already. Yeah. He looks... Looks like someone. Who does he Ooh. look like? Ooh, oh gosh. He looks like Krom. That's what it is. It's Red literally if Krom and Shigure had a baby. Or Azura and had Shigure. Okay. <laughs> That's new Shigure. You don't have to make it gay and like. I'm sorry, Shigure is like totally gay. She's gay, Ray. Not if I put him with a girl first. I'm putting him with my daughter so that he'll be my son in law. <laughs> I can't because he's my son. <laughs> hey guys, I'm gonna sell my name. 50 bucks. You, can, you two can be Kirito. Hashtag cash money. <laughs> I'm selling you. I would do. That's a thing you can do. You can sell your username handles yeah. in places. That's. Oh god. That's soon. It's like, yeah, less than 10 years from now. It's like six years. Ah! <laughs> what, if, what if like this is actually like a time jump and we're like, okay, I'm gonna. Well, be a no, new it's moment. it's kind of cool though that IBM made that announcement that they're gonna try to do this because conceivably, if they have enough time, we could have this by this year. Like, oh yeah, we, Oculus Rift is a thing. Well, yeah, but that's not. As, it's still not as immersive right. as I would would. Like you have to go to into be. a slumber state to play this game. You have to lie down, and you know that's you're, right. You're, they're basically transporting your entire consciousness. Ugh, it's so <laughs> weird to think about. It's it's unnatural. See, a game that simulates all the senses because it taps right into their brain. Yeah. we probably won't get that far. But that we would seems... have something pretty immersive, sight yes, and sound. Yes, yes. Because I would actually feel very scared if something like that were to exist because like like yeah it's cool for those of you who aren't new to sword online this is literally the this story is the of plot the for the first one no like the the idea that i am not cognitively like present, in control of your actual body. yes that makes me uncomfortable have i told you about not to bring in other lpers again yeah. but um <laughs> pat from the switcher his yeah. one fear his no. like mortal fear he is, I mean, we all are in some aspects. But he is. Um, afraid of death. But, like, afraid of death. Like, he will make efforts to like, not. Like, to the point that no matter what, he will do what he can to stay alive. So, they were playing Soma, which you really should watch them play. Okay. Um, is that, was that a PS4 title? Only? Or is it also on X-Bone? Mm, PS4 and PC. Oh, okay, okay. So, it is, it's semi-exclusive. Um... Um, anyway, is about yeah. is about a time where we can throw your conscience into, into other bodies. Yes, yes. But oh. that conscience becomes its own will. So, like, it, it, what happens is they make brain copies of people. So it's so like it's almost like cloning your conscience. Correct. Okay. But, but like, so if I put my brain scan into another being, he would remember himself as Jake. He'd have all of my memories. But at that point on, he is He's a separate his own individual. individual. 
and I would die. So I'm not actually continuing to live. It's but my scan is. It's a whole different Jacob, but he thinks himself as Jacob. Huh. Is it's very hard to wrap your head around. No, and I get it, but like yeah. Um so By the way, beach episode right now. But but Matt asks Pat, he's like, if you could do that, would you? He's like, fuck yeah. And he's like, but you're still dying. He's like, I don't care. It's keeping me alive in one way or another. Pat like, said that? Yeah. He's oh. that afraid of death. That wow. Even if it's he is dying, the fact that him in another form is still living, he'd do it without a second thought. And it's just, that's why you should watch them play Soma, because yeah. the story is super Deep. interesting. Yeah, yeah. Not that this isn't interesting. No! <laughs> Sword Art Online is, like, the best anime. I like Sword Art Online. I like Sword Art Online. I think people do shit on it too much. I, yeah. I, I accept that there are flaws, and I'm willing absolutely, to Absolutely, absolutely. I'll talk about that in another episode. Yeah. But I like... I like the characters. Yeah, Kirito's a little cookie cutter, but the other characters. Asuna still, in my mind, is one of the strongest female characters I've ever seen. Yes. At least in the first season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, I think even in the second part, she... She did what she you Gotta be careful, because I want to I want to start talking about what's wrong with it. I know what you're gonna say. It. Right, but I want to like, wait until later. Yeah. I mean, there was only so much she could do. I know. And that's kind of what was I know, a and that's upsetting. that's what I'm upset about yeah. because the writers wrote her out of the story. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the biggest shit it gets on is like, oh, all the characters just love him. It's like, well, if you think it, about it's because it, because it is a harem, like very, it's very, very yeah. Well, like, okay, so like the first, like the first, like four episodes or something. There's like that chick from the other guild. Dude, that he's the, in. the first couple episodes of Sword Art are super emotionally heavy. Yeah, super heavy. It's like, yo. Yeah, the girl who sends him the song. Yes. And it's like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Yes. Yes. Um. And, like, she sent that literally only if she ever died or something, I think. Or it was, like, hidden. No, it was, like, it was an unsent, like, private. Um, DJ's calling me right now. DJ's probably give me very one, upset give me one about second. Fire Emblem Give me stuff. one second. I'll have to tell me it's back. Hey, what's up, dude? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Say again. <laughs> Um, I mixed cranberry juice, uh, ginger ale, and, yes, and then, um, it was just vodka. I may have done raspberry vodka, but I don't think so, because I think I ran out of it. It was a very green color. No, it wouldn't no. have been, because the cranberry. Yeah, no. It was, it was really, yeah, Liesl's here. Hi, DJ! Hi, I because I Oh no! Okay. Yeah, so. Okay, so ginger ale, vodka, and cranberry juice. Pretty much. Okay, alright. Yeah. Alright, we'll talk to you later, alright, man? Alright, see ya. Take it easy. I don't know how much of that actually got picked up. Yeah. DJ's cool. DJ plays Smash with us. And then we get smashed with him. And then we cry about Fire Emblem. And well, he and I talk mostly. about big blue damn made girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I sometimes partake in conversation. Camilla's got really big boobs. Honestly, they're not that big. It's just the, what she wears accentuates they, they, them. It's very accentuating, yes. Because, like, they're probably this. Like, I'm looking at your Luca figure. Probably the same size as Luca's. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't I say, would say Luca's busty. Um, I would say Luca might be bustier. Oh, it, she's definitely bustier than, to, like, compared Miku. To, no, no, no. Uh, do, uh, compared to the rest of her body mass. Yes. Camilla is just a bigger person overall than yeah, I think Luca is. Yeah, I would is. say that. she She's not, like, thin, but she's not, like, fat. She's, like... All right, when do I get to make my own character? They told said you. I could. We said I could! I showed you on the back! I have the box? 